Welcome to Careers TV, the series aiming to spotlight the right job for you, helping job seekers to make a better informed career choice from the sanctity of your own living room. In this programme, we will look at people still in their studies, along with graduates placed in their professional careers and even recent graduates seeking their chosen careers. As any graduate out there will tell you, graduation itself is a pretty big thing. The skills and experiences you gain from the three years of studying give you good life experience before you even start looking for a career. A traditional university has always been about expanding the mind, or that is what people have thought. But actually, if you go back to the original universities when they were created in Italy in the 16th, 15th centuries, uh, there you found that the universities were created deliberately in order to help wealth creation, in order to help the economy of the cities where they, where they were. And what we're trying to do in the 21st century university is go back to that original model of a university. I think that students need to consider when they're thinking about university is, is it the right course for them? Is it the right place for them? You know, not where my friends go in, you know, just because my friend, best friends go into a certain university. You need to think about yourself and what you want and is the course the right one for you? And check out the open days, go and visit the universities to find out whether or not you get a feel for the place. Um, I'm a student ambassador and regularly have to go and talk to students and the thing that I tell them is the most important thing about finding a university that's good for you is not just the course but just as important as of that is where you want to go and what I'll say is if you're not sure what course you want to go I personally think you should choose somewhere where you know you're going to be happy for three years and then pick something you're interested in within that university and I think the most crucial thing is just go into open days more than once if you can and just really getting a feel for the place, talking to people and just research and not just picking somewhere out of the blue because it's got a good course because that's not everything. A lot of my friends um, always said to me, you know when you, you know when something feels right, when the university feels right, when you get there and that's the most important thing. Um, so I went to as many as I could and when you get off the train or when you get out of the car and you stand and you immediately you can tell. It's really important that students in their personal statement put down um, something that relates to the subject they're applying to. So they need to show a commitment to the subject they're applying to and perhaps that they've studied that already at A-level. That's fine if you are applying for something that you're already studying but if not, you know, try and show some enthusiasm and commitment for the course they're applying for. But they also need to think about, you know, have they done voluntary work? Where have they done work experience? You know, do they, are they a carer for someone else in their family? And all of those things really make people stand out from the crowd. You really need to sell yourself, you know. In Britain, we don't make the most of ourselves. We're far too modest. Um, I think they really need to make sure that they shine on paper. Everybody's, everybody's different and you have to look for the university that's, that's right for you. Uh, that university uh, is going to, got, has got to be right in terms of the courses being offered, the type of teaching, the research that's going on within the, within the university. Those are all very important, but they have to be right in terms of you and the way that you wish to develop as a, as a person, so the kind of community that is going to help you develop. Times can be hard after recently graduating, away from campus and looking for a job for the first time. It can feel like transition after transition. Though you may collect your mortarboard and certificate at the end of it all, you still have to go out of your way to make it happen for yourself. The reality of it all can hit you pretty hard when you hear yourself constantly saying, I need a job, no more wild nights out, I've got to knuckle down, got to be at work at nine. If all that kind of stuff has got you rolling sleeplessly at night, don't worry because we're here to give you some help. Higher education is expensive uh, for students these days and uh, everybody is having to take out, take out loans uh, in order to be able to afford it. Uh, Therefore, it's as with anything that you're paying for, you have to look uh, at, at, at the affordability. I think money is obviously an issue in everything, but I don't think it can stop you doing something. I mean, everything proves that graduates generally get more money than if you don't come to university. And it's not just about getting the degree, it's about everything I've learned. I mean, I've had the best three years of my life. I'm just so sad it's coming to an end. And, you know, money can't really buy that. And you know, we've got jobs here, most people work, you've got the time to work, 
and there's so many different loans and the stuff available for you that money's always going to be an issue but it's an issue with most things and I think as long as you're sensible it's affordable and definitely worth it. At the end of my um, course I think I might be earning about coming up to 10 grand um, I know it's a lot of money but you're not supposed to start paying it off until you're earning a certain amount of money and I it should be in small amounts, small, small monthly instalments so it shouldn't be too much of a problem paying it back but I just could be paying it back for the rest of my life really. If you manage to choose the right career that matches your skill set, it can turn out to be the career you've always dreamed of, providing you with everything you should need in life. The course I'm doing is performance car technology and it's really good fun, really enjoy it. There, it's very theoretical, a lot of it, because it's engineering based, um, but then there's parts of it that are very practical and this is my car, uh, so you know I, I came here to use it and that's what I've been able to do. It's been really good fun. The course is very unique. Um, I had a look around at other courses that were on the, on the, you know, in similar universities around the place, and most of them were motorsport engineering, which were not very practical based, and they didn't branch out into rallying or you know other sides of motorsport that a lot of people want to do. And so that's why I chose to come to Newey because it is very unique in that sense, and it's got this whole workshop full of cars that we can play with, which is great fun. I'm studying government and economics. I'm in my second year. And I wanted to do a joint social science course because from a young age I always knew that I wanted to work in a field that would deal with people, um, but particularly on an economic front. Because I grew up in Africa, I wanted to work in developing countries, go back to the developing countries I grew up in and find a way to help them move into you know, the next level of development, move towards being a first world country. and. As I got older, started studying economics at A-level, I realised that economics was the field I could do that in. But ethics was always like a really important part of everything I studied as well, which is why I didn't want to do economics alone. And that's why I'm now studying government economics, because, I mean, you can read Marx, or you can read The Economist, or you can read the paper, but the two subjects are, in my opinion, inextricably linked. And so I just thought it was a perfect course for me. One of the issues that we have here is to ensure that we're able to measure that employability as to measure also the socio-economic impact uh, that we're making within our region also within the country in the country as a whole uh, and the first thing that you, you need to do uh, is to find out how many of the students are actually going into graduate type jobs you know at our institution uh, we know that it's 92 percent of, of our graduates after six months uh, from graduation are uh, actually either into, into jobs or have gone on to take high, higher degrees or other forms of, or other forms of higher study uh, from getting their initial degree. But you look at the percentage of the students that are actually going into the jobs. Uh, the second thing is that you actually get feedback from the employers who are, are, uh, who are employing your graduates to see that they are being trained in the correct way and you start to build up relationships with major companies, you know, whether it be companies in technology or companies in the arts or, or, or whatever. And as far as humanities students are concerned, then you might think, well, how do you know exactly which kind of jobs they're going for? Well, humanities is what we call a multivocational type of, uh, of course and they are being prepared to be flexible in their minds to work in a range of a range of jobs and again you have to monitor that to ensure that that flexibility in problem solving and communicating and so on and so forth is there within the humanities courses so right the way across the range of, uh, of subjects you're finding that you're training students for jobs and they go into those jobs and they're helping the economic development